What it do, players and trainers? It is your boy, the Blazing Squid, back with another Pokemon All-Star, or well, LDL All-Star Weekend. Rocking this week, we have Antony versus Jetman99. Antony will be rocking for Team Medium Schlong, and Jetman99 is rocking for Team Long Schlong. What are they rocking? As you guys can see on the screen, Antony is bringing Kyron Black, Skarmory, Stoutland, Slowking, Heracross, and Tyranitar. While Jetman99 is going to be rocking with the Menchow. The actually is the music loud? No, it's still where I want it to be. Oh, all right. And then I was mentioning Jetman99 has the Menchow. He has a Swampert, Mega Charizard X. Um, it was supposed to be Mega Charizard X versus Mega Charizard Y this week, but whatever. And this is some like techno techno music. Okay. A lowly Persian Torna Tornadus Tornadus T Tornadus T Zip Striker. You know, these are probably some of Jesse's favorite mods. I don't know what season where he doesn't draft the Tornadus T, but I'm gonna stop rambling, guys. We have a video to get into. I'm excited. I wanna see how this one ends up because you guys know the score right now. Right now the score is well. It's gonna be down below in the dock as always guys so i highly suggest you go check it out if you guys want to see who won this battle how what are the standings for team medium schlong what are the standings for the long schlong and as we have skarmory versus menchow leading off here so very good lead for antony very good lead menchow is going to just u-turn is it a rocky helmet set that did nothing it is rocky helmet okay so that's nice to know i should know i gen this team <laughs> wow okay Oh, Mega Charizard X is going to come off right off the bat. Before the Rocks, really good call. Um, if you ask me right now, if you were to ask me, a Swords Dance set would be like GG. Almost. Seriously speaking, like you Swords Dance here, you probably Brick Break the Tyranitar. But let's, let's, see, what, let's see what Jetman has rocking for this guy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have Dragon Dance plus Swords, um, Present Brick Break, but if it's a Chopple Berry Tyranitar, that's a good call. So we're gonna see the Dragon Dance. I don't know if I'm feeling this music. I'm not really. I'm not feeling it. All right, this is more. There's the Brick Break. Okay, so we call that. So oof. Ooh. Gemman 99 taking the lead right now. Kyron Black is gonna come out. Um, if there's anything I've learned, is a Flare Blitz knocks this thing out from the range that it's at. I'm pretty sure Brick would have killed. It's gonna stay in though. Dragon Pulse, does that kill? Yeah, it does. It does. I'm pretty sure Flirp this would have done more if he had it though. But that's fine. Swampert's gonna come out here. Uh, Swampert might get its own rocks up. Yeah. Faster. That is a fast Swampert. That is a really fast Swampert. That was a really... Was that like a Choice Scarf Swampert? No, there's no way. That's impossible. Trash can. Fake out. Try and waste the sand turns. Frustration, does that kill? Almost because of its uh, ability. I think it has like fur coat, something like that. 
And that frustration kills it from this range. Yeah, it does. Okay. What? I'm interested in that because... It's a very close game right now. Both players have lost one mod each. Um, if Jetman could get rid of Arthur, the Slow King, he's looking pretty good with Manchal. But he has to get rid of it. It's 4-4. Four, four. This thing has to be Scarfing now. He would have U-turned out. Dual Scarfers. Don't go for Grass Knot or Trick Room. Slack off. Okay. I see you, Antony. I see you. want to see something it's called is that really his best move he does have toxic trick he's tricking the choice scarf onto himself though oh a bad call except they keep tricking each other I think oh no he could trick himself into skull now and he's still not faster than Swampert. Switch, claim charge. Oh, he's a life orb. Dog. That's a problem. Overheat. That should kill, right? Yeah, it does. That's sweet. That's good. That's really good. Okay, Gen Man. Look at you. All you have to do is wall switch out of here. No, you can't because of the rocks. The other Thunderbolt. Yeah, good call. Except he can roost you to you lose, I think. No. Oof. Nope. He has to kill you. <gasps> the para. If he would have got fully para right there. Gem Man's up 4 to 3. What? Overheat. Oh, expecting the Heracross. Thunderball is a better play. Oh no, it is slightly more. Is he gonna get fully para? Is he gonna. It's funny because I fought Jetman the other night and he paired me like three times in a row and I got fully para. I don't know if Skull can take this thing out. In the range that it's at. No. Makes no sense whatsoever to me. Slow King's gonna be very annoying. Unless he had Toxic. If he had Toxic, he would have been in a much better position. You know, Rick is gonna come down to Tornado's T if it can hit a couple hurricanes. Finally got the burn though. So that's something. But it's gonna die here. If it doesn't die, it goes into Torrent Range. Which is slightly better for Gemma 99 right now. Should bring it down to like 30% more or less. No, not even. Here's the Tornado's T taking rocks. 
Super unfortunate. Goes for a hurricane or goes a heat wave? Making the prediction. Goes for a knockoff. I still think heat wave was probably the play there. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have the heat wave. I think that's gonna be GG if he doesn't have the heat wave. Does Drain Punch kill from here? It does not even kill. You gotta be kidding me. Brave Bird. Manchow is gonna go down to this. Pretty sure. Man. I think it's 2 2 now, guys. Seriously, 2 2. Tornado's T uh, versus the world almost, basically. I don't know what the Alolan person does. And they ha he has a healthy Heracross in the back. A healthy Heracross does not touch the field just yet. Oh no, it's just Tornado's T. When did he lose? I don't remember him losing um, the cat. It's gonna die. Um, it's gonna click Scald. I cannot remember right now if his hair cross was scarf or not. It might be. I think it was a Moxie scarf set. Nah, I. Is it? He clicks Hurricane. Yep, it was scarf. Wow. GG to both players. GG indeed. That was a good game. And Tony's gonna walk away 1-0 on this one. So that's another win for Team Medium Schlong. I will... <laughs> Jetman did message me afterwards, guys. I'm just gonna put this a uh, little disclaimer. He does claim that he prepped for Antony's Week 5 team, a Week 5 team, where before the transaction of Kyron Black and Heracross being added to the team, but regardless, it was a very, very fun game to watch. Really entertaining overall. Uh, he was able to work around it very well. But with that said, players and trainers. <laughs> good game. Really, really good game. We're almost at the end. We almost are. So, hang in there. It's, it's a close race, I think. I think it is. We'll see what happens. With that said, you guys are amazing. Stay blazing. and catch you in the next video or the one before this. Who knows? Peace.